Vikramaditya and welcome to JH Softic. And in this session, I'm going to discuss about the latest SAP modules in which we have huge demand and we are we are we are actually searching for the manpower and we are not getting it enough uh, as per the project requirement. So let's see quickly what are the most on-demand uh, modules which you can learn and um, you know have a great career in SAP. In this uh, session on uh, the most demand on demand uh, modules uh, if at all if you are looking for any kind of SAP training or SAP project projects or if you're doing uh, any SAP on job support if you are looking out for any of this kind of kind of uh, uh, services as well as SAP jobs as well you can contact us on the uh, email IDs which I have mentioned in the description below in this video okay so now let's move on to the demand on demand modules so before starting uh, this SAP uh, on demand modules would let me tell you that all this is based upon your background as well so uh, first let me start with the uh, with those who have the technical background okay so uh, what do i mean by technical educational background is if at all if you have um btech bachelor of technology or be bachelor of engineering or any technical degree like bsc computers or say mtech msc or any any technical education then the best uh, module that you can learn is ABAP ABAP by four but you might not get a uh, expected number of calls or maybe you'll not get a break uh, only with ABAP by four because right now there's a huge demand for ABAP on HANA so you might also have to learn ABAP on HANA and those who are trying who are trying for jobs who have good amount of experience in ABAP by four also might not get calls and if at all you have not getting enough number of calls uh, on only on ABAP by four even though you have five to ten years of experience then it's it's time for you to consider learning ABAP on HANA and if at all if you're looking for ABAP on HANA training you can contact us and below uh, email IDs which are given in the description of the box of this email of this video now uh, ABAP by 4 plus ABAP on HANA is one option that we have which the BTEC, BE, BSc, MTEC, MSc or uh, MCA candidates can consider but coming to uh, other uh, prospects that we have is we have UI5 Fury so we have UI5 Fury. UI5 Fury is another option that we have here in which you might also consider getting into. And other than that, we have something called SAP Commerce Cloud. And in this also, we have technical. And for this, uh, to get into this SAP Commerce Cloud with technical or UI5 Fury, if you have Java experience for Java. Uh, good knowledge in Java or Java work experience, uh, then you you might consider getting into UI5 Fury and SAP Commerce Cloud. Uh, I'm sure most of you are aware of ABAP by four, ABAP on HANA, UI5 Fury, but not much on the SAP Commerce Cloud, which is growing very fast and uh, we have huge demand. And though there are no consultants, enough number of consultants for this projects to be handled. So obviously there's a huge demand for SAP Commerce Cloud. As there are very less number of people and there are a lot of other other technical uh, modules as well which i can discuss with you but i'm discussing here in this session only about the most demandable uh, modules so let's move on to now the functional part in the functional part I'm, I'm first considering the finance because the finance happens to be uh, the one of the most uh, on-demand uh, module at, at at all times so if at all if your background is finance for example if you've done MBA finance or if you've done M M M MCOM finance or if you've done like anything like chart accountancy 
or ICWA any degree which is related to finance it's always preferable even if BSc finance also can consider this or say PCOM finance also can consider getting into SAP FICO so and I, I, I know a lot of people uh, might ask a question to me that yes of course I am I have a good amount of experience in FI, SAP FICO maybe FI or CO or both but still I'm not getting good number of calls that's because you might have to consider learning SAP SO HANA finance so this is this happens to be extremely important because everyone who hires new uh, new joinees uh, they would like to have them uh, with a new technology because anyways we already have uh, you know every company thinks in this way like i already have 100 consultants who are good in sap fico who are already working in my organization and why should have one not one person on the same technology why, why shouldn't i have it on sap s4 hana finance so sap s4 hana finance even though if the projects are still running on sap fico if you are a new a new joinee or new hire to a new come into a company they would consider you having sap s4 hana finance so if you have sap s4 hana finance in your resume the chances of you being getting a call and selection selected for the interview and again getting the offer is uh, is having more chances than you getting a uh, trying on sap fi or co controlling and and having said that we also have some latest uh, technologies like sap rar which happens to be extremely important uh, concept which every one of us should know uh, uh, from the sap s4 hana finance point of view and i'll cover that in uh, another session wherein i'll explain you about sap rar in detail later but this is uh, some this is one tech one uh, expertise that every one of us as an sap fi co consultant or sap FI finance consultant should be having sap s4 hana finance happens to be a integrated platform which is built on the hana hana uh, uh, unified platform so i'm going to discuss about that later but if at all if you learn sap fico then it's it's time for you to also learn sap s hana finance and i i, I normally get these kind of questions like I, 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 I you are saying that you know you have a lot of demand in sap s hana finance so can i learn this directly because i'm new to sap and can i learn sap s hana finance my recommendation is that you first learn sap fico and become an expert in it or become confident about it and then learn sap s hana finance because a lot of uh, companies consider people who have both the experience or both the technical skills or both the functional skills if at all if you only have sap s4 hana finance uh, as i told you sap s4 hana finance or the latest modules which i am discussing right now here uh, are something on which the, the the organization might not have the projects on and the reason they are they are selecting those who have sap s4 hana finance in their resume is because they might uh, consider them for the future projects so they are they are making themselves future ready for that they are considering it but only sap s4 hana finance uh, if, if you have only that skill set maybe the, you'll not be ready to uh, you'll not be uh, flexible enough or you, you don't have the expertise to uh, work on sap fico which the company is already working on so that becomes a obligation so uh, for the present projects to work on the present projects they need sap fico guys and for working for the future projects they need sap s4 hana finance so both are required if at all if you're applying for a job now finance is uh, as we all know is uh, highly in demand and uh, then in the functional next comes the most demandable software uh, uh, module is the material mm the material management so in material management again you have to get into first sap mm material management plus sap s4 hana finance I, I, i'm sorry sap s4 hana logistics now you might ask me like uh, if i'm already work i'm already working in sap mm that's great but if at all if you consider a change in your in your uh, job then you have to have the 
uh, you know knowledge on SAP Expo HANA Finance or preferably a work experience as well. As I told you, once again, I'm repeating this. You need both the skills right now to, to be successful in the market right now because most of the projects, support projects specifically, are running on the old module. So you might have to still work on SAP MM uh, if, uh, when you are in a support project. But when you are a new hire for a new co for a company, they would definitely consider you having the latest skills. So when I say SAP S4 HANA Logistics, SAP S4 HANA Logistics specifically for material management is what I'm talking about. Other than that, we have a lot of other things. So in SAP S4 HANA Logistics, again, we have a specializations and I'm talking about the material, material management. So here we have SAP PM, SAP uh, also with the same thing with the SAP S4 HANA Logistics. And then we have uh, warehouse management, we have extended warehouse management extended warehouse management is uh, again having a lot of demand so here let me say sd sales and distribution we have sap s4 hana logistics specific to sales and distribution is what you need to learn after learning sap sd so uh, other than that we have one more uh, on demand uh, concept and the functional part is sap ewm extended warehouse management this happens to be a very successful and a uh, highly demandable uh, module which you can consider learning it we have very good scope for ewm at this point of time and then coming to the the human resources part you need to have a skill set of sap hr or we call it so called as sap hcm plus sap success factors so if you are considering and uh, considering uh, getting a break on SAP HR or getting a change over in, in your job in SAP HR, it might, might not be that easy. But if at all, if you have a skill set of success factors, but there's a huge demand and you might get a lot of calls and uh, the future hires would always look for the latest technology that happens to be success factors. So you might consider you might consider uh, upgrade to success factors as soon as possible if you're already working on hr and hcm and especially when you want to uh, uh, when you want to make sure that you you have a good career in the future for in a different organization or even within the same organization it strengthens your your job prospects now moving on to the the administration part So at the administration part, we have something called SAP basis. Again, with SAP basis, it's mandatory for us to have good technical skills on SAP S4 HANA administration. This is very, very important and has a huge demand right now. And we have a lot of other administration modules as well, which I'm going to discuss in the coming sessions. But this happens to be very, very important. So if you already are working on SAP basis, then it's better for you to upgrade to SAP S4 HANA administration. And uh, other than that, we have the business softwares business softwares again in business softwares we have a lot of softwares but i'm talking about the data warehousing solution that is sap bw so with sap bw if at all if you have good amount of experience in uh, administration you can consider learning sap bw plus sap bw for hana again this this both combination only will make it will create a demand in the market because most of the tech, most of the projects are running on SAP BW, so it must be there in your resume, as well as SAP SAP BW for HANA, on which the client would be looking out for hiring those people, so that they can up, they can go for new projects in the future. Okay. So these are the quite a few kind of number of uh, modules which you might consider learning to strengthen your job perspectives in the future also to have a good hikes in the existing job so it will definitely would help you in uh, making your sap career in a better way and um, and the only way uh, I, i'm sure most of us uh, at some or the other point of time uh, will feel insecure about our job or insecure about our future that's when you have to focus your complete energies on learning new things on which we have huge demand 
remember when you started your career in the beginning uh, you always struggled so this is same thing here as well so now this this is a second phase of uh, your career where you have to focus on learning a uh, new technologies technologies has become a very essential part of the entire sap career for every one of us right now because we have new platform of ana and uh, if at all if you are not good in uh, the latest uh, modules we are going to lay back so make sure you get your skills done well and uh, please do contact us if at all if you are looking out for any kind of trainings and uh, and if at all if you are not yet subscribed please do subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash jsoftech and if at all if you are looking out for any key trainings you can contact us at training at jsoftech.com and if at all if you are looking out for any jobs you can contact us at jobs at jsoftech.com thank you have a great day i'm going to soon come back with uh, more interesting facts about sap and sap jobs in the coming sessions so keep watching this channel